Happy Monday and welcome to Love at Lunch. I'm excited today. Love at Lunch is all about sharing knowledge and to me that feels like love and that's why we call it Love at Lunch. So today I'm going to help you and help me share how we can mitigate some of the stress that we might be feeling as we head into the fall. And I know, I know we're only halfway through August, so I don't want to set us up for anything. But if you're already thinking September feels busy, busy, the pace feels different, then you are not alone. I'm hearing it from lots of my clients and I'm feeling it myself. So what we want to think is uh, a five finger plan for mitigating some of this stress that might be coming up with September. And instead of thinking that, oh, I'm dreading it, or I, you know, <laughs> please think you love summer and please think you love September. But how can you come up with a plan that's going to support you to create what you want the fall to feel like? So, myself personally, I'm coming into the busiest season and professionally of my entire life and um, lots of exciting balls in the air, joy spots all over the place. And so um, one of the things which is not part of my five finger plan is that I refuse to use the word busy. I use the word full. Busy makes me feel like I'm being dragged behind a horse and cart of my life and full makes me feel that I am the one who is in more control and I decide what I put on my plate and what I do not. Now obviously there are things that I have on my plate, like cleaning my house that I don't love, but I can put some boundaries. I can do some things differently in order to have the fall feel more like I would like to feel. So five finger plan to reducing stress as we come into the fall. Now, number one, if you have your feet fully immersed in the summer and you are still all here, bless you. And that is wonderful. Hold on to that until you can't anymore. Um, so this may be premature for some of us. Number one, acknowledge what you're feeling. Because when we don't acknowledge the emotions that we're feeling, um, then they just hijack our brain. They run around in our brain and they take up a lot of space. So just acknowledge them. Once we acknowledge them, if you've been here for a while at Love at Lunch, you know that your stress is reduced by about 25%. So this morning I was feeling a little bit stressed, uh, a little bit disappointed. And so just acknowledging those feelings without any attachment and no judgment to those feelings drops the um, uh, intensity of those emotions by about 25%. So acknowledge what you're feeling about what's coming up. Uh, that also helps you to stay more present rather than flying ahead. You're just with what you're feeling. Uh, then the next part is acknowledge, like I mentioned. So feel those feels, acknowledge what you're feeling and identify those feelings. That's important. If you're journaling, it's so, so valuable. Um, if you're not journaling, uh, talking it through with somebody, just that they just listen. Just, hey, this is what I'm feeling. Just listen. Uh, they don't need to fix anything. Feelings are feelings. Um, the next part is what's the story you make up? Often I make up when I feel something stressful is that I um, am uh, going to feel out of control. I'm not going to be able to do this. What if I don't have the time, energy, resources, all of those different pieces to make it happen? And the truth is, I believe that I'll have exactly what I need when I need it. And maybe there's some strategic opportunities here that you think looking ahead, um, there are some ways that you want to handle what is on your plate, and that's important. Um, next Love at Lunch, we are going to use a tool that will help you pull apart what is in your brain right now and develop a strategic system for implementing those things. So that's going to be awesome. The next piece is you want to have a focus. So either a phrase or something that helps you to that builds a foundation for what you want this stress, what you feel is going to be stressful. In this case, I'm using what feels like, what is the fall feels slightly stressful for me. So when I, when I wrote down, what is my intention or focus for some of us, that might be the same thing. Um, um, an anchoring point, whatever you want to call it. The words that came up to me are intention and focus uh, with a side of grace. <laughs> so I wrote that down and that's going to be a daily practice for me heading into the fall and in the fall. What do I want to be intentional about? What do I want to focus on today? And I spent some time 
um, then thinking about those places that I am really going to commit to. So for me, that starts the night before a day with good solid sleep. If you've been here for a while, I get up most mornings at 5 and some mornings at 4.30. So that means that I am starting to get ready for bed like a preschooler um, at about 8. Lights off about 8.45. Sleep is imperative for resilience, joy, all the things. Um, I think about connection, connecting with the people that matter to me, my spouse, my kids, um, those things are really important. So every day I have a practice to put that phrase, and in my case, intention and focus. A few years ago when I wrote about it in my book, it was uh, light as a feather. That was my intention. Just trusting I would just move from commitment to commitment, it would not feel heavy, and I would just go with the flow of whatever was brought to me. That was really valuable in that season. Um, and then the last piece is boundaries and practices. So I talked a little bit about practices already, uh, solid sleep, maybe for you that looks, um, your sleep and get up time may be different. <laughs> I think I'm a little, uh, on the weird side in that regard, but, um, so thinking about what practices that you want to put in place and what boundaries that you need. So when we think about boundaries, thinks about thinks about think about what's okay and what's not okay so it's okay that I take on this particular thing that I'm being asked it's not okay that I do that so some of these things for me means that um certain things that I do that uh aren't necessarily bolstering my well-being going into the season are going to be set to the side that means I might be not um uh, able to do some of the things that I normally would commit to. It might mean that I would spend less time with some of my friends. And not that those that doesn't bolster me, but I need to make sure that I don't have too packed of a schedule because that really increases my stress. And for me, that increases um, some of my uh, pain that I struggle with. So I want to be really, really careful. So when you think about something that is making you feel stressful, and for today I use that example of heading into the fall and that pace amping up, five ways that we can reduce that stress is number one, permission to feel your feelings. Second, acknowledge what it is that you're feeling. Whatever those emotions are, just name them. They automatically will be reduced in their charge by naming and acknowledging them, write them down or sharing them with somebody even better. What is the story that you're making up? And combat that with the truth. Um, intention and focus, that means picking a phrase that supports you and is grounding in this and that you can have uh, some practical application with. And then the last piece is boundaries and practice. <laughs> Probably more like a 10 finger fan plan, but I'm trying to condense it. Um, so, as we are entering a season that's a little bit busy, busier, then you want to give yourself a practice and a framework that's going to support you in the way that you want to feel. That's super, super important. And if you want more techniques, this is from a chapter, chapter 32 actually, in my book, page 120, uh, very specifically <laughs> towards heading into fall. I must find that very stressful. So um, you can get that book if you are not on Amazon love you. Reach out and I'd be happy to get you a copy as well. So thank you for those of you that joined me today for Love at Lunch. It means a lot that you would be here. Um, and if I can do anything else, if you have any questions, then please reach out. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great week.